Hi there, I'm Dr. Jamel Sandage from NISIS Corporation, uh, National Director of Technical Services, and I would like to talk to you today about drains, cockroaches, and small flies. Now, this is a, a model of a drain system, and in the bottom of here, you see that there is a P-trap, and that P-trap in here has a colored liquid in it. Most P-traps will contain water at most times, uh, but those uh, P-traps do dry out occasionally. Now, that's really important because when all of your grease and your grime food particles are going down this drain, some of them get trapped on the wall, some of them get trapped in the drain, uh, but a lot of it actually ends up in um, this area here. Now, that's important because when these drains go dry, small flies are able to go down into the drain and start feeding on the materials that are in not only in the down portion of the drain but what's beyond the p-trap now the water level doesn't have to go all the way dry it only needs to go down to the point in which there's an air gap that these small flies can pass through now our friends the cockroaches they can go up and down the drain and go through the water anytime they really feel like doing so um, so that is very important when you're talking to, especially when you're talking to customers about how to solve the drain fly issues and how to solve the cock cockroach issues um, that are pertaining to the drains and the drainage system. Here I have two products that I'd like to tell you about, um, Nibor D plus IGR and Foam Fresh. Now I'd like to show you how the specifications of this product work. Each can comes with a drain actuator and a 17 inch extension straw. Now the reason for this 17 inch extension straw is that it is long enough to go past the P-trap on just about any drain that you're going to come across, whether it's a commercial drain, a four inch drain, a sink drain, etc. Now if you're using a product that has a very small six inch straw, you're only going to be filling this portion of the drain. It's really not getting to any of the areas down here where those small flies and cockroaches are going to be harboring, waiting for their chance when the P-trap water level goes down. So even if you have a 9 inch extension, it still will not reach past that P-trap. It'll only reach uh, to the bottom of most of the P-traps. With the 17 inch extension, you're able to do so, and I'll demonstrate. So as you can see, we push the 17 inch tube down into the P-trap and it appears on the other side of the water. And that's all it requires to get the foam past that P-trap. Now we're going to push the trigger. Now, as you can see, the water in the P-trap actually helps to push the foam down that line. Now, the importance of this foam filling the entire void is that a lot of times the cockroaches and the small flies are on the upper surface of the pipe. If you use a gel cleaner or anything like that, it's actually only going to flow on the bottom, probably eighth to fourth of the pipe. So it really never touches the small flies or the cockroaches that are on the upper side. And as you can see, with Nibor DIGR, we filled the entire uh, tube with foam. Now the next thing you want to do is you pull it back out of that P-trap, you want to go ahead and fill any of those areas with the Nibor D and you want to keep pulling it out as you foam. And you really want to see the foam come out of the top because a lot of times those small fly larvae are going to be on the back side of the drain plate. So very, very important, all the way down the drain, pull it back through and foam this section of the drain all the way to the drain plate. 
Now, just like our Nibor D IGR, we also have Foam Fresh, and Foam Fresh has the exact same setup because a lot of times when you're looking at where the smells are coming from, where the gunk is building up, where the grease is building up, it's also going to be in the areas of the elbow here, and it's going to be in the first portion of this pipe. So. Foam Fresh has the same 17 inch extension and the same drain actuator that can be used to accomplish the same task. So I hope that's been a help to you and I hope it brings you a lot more success getting rid of those small flies and cockroaches.